Hey guys, this is Dr. Simran and you are watching Dentistry. Here at Dentistry, I make videos on dentistry and dental related topics. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and click the bell icon so that you get updates whenever I upload a new video. So today, we will be discussing about the anatomy of a tooth structure and the basic terminologies for the dental anatomy. So stay tuned. So each tooth has a crown and a root portion. So the portion of the tooth that you can see inside the oral cavity is the crown portion. So this portion is the crown portion of the tooth. And the portion of the teeth that is not visible inside the oral cavity is the root portion. It is embedded in the bone and we cannot see it in the oral cavity as it is, as it is present within the bone. Okay. Now the crown portion of the tooth is covered with a uh, substance called enamel. So this is the crown portion and this is the enamel that covers the crown portion. So this is our enamel and it is made up of 96% minerals. That is it contains hydroxyapatite crystals that forms up 96% of the enamel. And so it is the hardest structure of our body. Now the root portion of the tooth is covered with a cementum. So this portion, this is the cementum. You can see this is our cementum portion. So this is our cementum. Now the cementum is also a hard tissue and it contains about 65% minerals similar to that of the bone. So it is similar to that of the bone. So the portion of the tooth where the crown and the root meet that is this is a crown and this is a root. So the crown is covered with enamel and the root is covered with cementum. So the portion of the tooth where these two structures meet it will be the cement to enamel junction. So this point this point will be our cemento enamel junction. This junction is also called as the cervical line. So anything above this cemento enamel junction will be called as the anatomical crown and below the CEJ will be called as the anatomical root. Now the major portion or the bulk of the tooth, this portion is covered by a hard tissue that is called dentine. So this is a dentine. This forms the major portion of the tooth. And it contains about 70% minerals by weight. So it is harder than the bone but not as much as enamel. And the soft tissue in the tooth is the pulp tissue. This red portion here you can see is the pulp tissue. So this pulp tissue contains all the nerves, connective tissue and blood vessels to the teeth that keeps the teeth alive and healthy. So the pulp tissue that is in the crown portion is called the pulp chamber and those to the roots is called as the pulp canal. And these are the pulp horns that you can see. These parts are extended up from the pulp chamber. The pulp chamber and the pulp canal are both continuous to each other and are collectively called as the pulp cavity. So tooth is formed of four tissues, the enamel, dentine, pulp and cementum. Out of which enamel, dentine and cementum are the hard tissues of the teeth and pulp is the soft tissue of the teeth. And the root portion of the tooth is firmly fixed in the bony process of the jaw. So this is the bone. So this is our bone to which the tooth is attached and the portion of the bone in which the teeth are attached are called as the alveolar process which is like about 65% minerals. Okay. Now the crown portion of the fully erupted tooth is partly covered with at the cervical third by a soft tissue called the gingiva. So this is the gingiva. Okay, or we call it as the gums. Okay, so anything 
above this gum line that is visible inside the oral cavity is called the clinical crown as we can see it clinically. So remember we discussed about anything that is above the cemento enamel junction is called as the anatomical crown and anything above the gum line or the gingiva is called as the clinical crown. So now another structure that is this layer from here till here you can see is the tissue that connects the root to the bone. So you can see this connect this is connecting the root to the bone. So this tissue is called as the periodontal ligament or PDL. And lastly this tip of the root. So this is called as the apex. So this is the tip of the root and is called as the apex. And so if we talk about anything that is towards the apex of the tooth we will call it as the apical direction and towards the crown is called as the coronal direction. So the upper teeth are connected to the maxilla and the so called as the maxillary teeth and the lower teeth because they are connected to the lower jaw or the mandible so they are called as the mandibular teeth. So let's now see the types of the teeth. The teeth are oriented according to their shape, location and function. So the front four teeth are the incisors. These are the central incisors and these are the lateral incisors. They are used for slicing of the food, aesthetics as they are in front and phonetics that is speech as they help in the pronunciation of F and V sounds, F and V sounds. Okay, so canines are next to the incisors. These are used for tearing and holding of the food and also for aesthetic purposes. So these two teeth, the incisors and the canines together are referred to as the anterior teeth. Okay, then we have the premolars. These are the teeth that are present behind the canines and in front of the molars. These are used for tearing and holding and grinding of the food. Then last are the molar teeth that are used for chewing and mastication of food. And these premolars and molars combinedly are referred to as the posterior teeth as they are at the back. So we get two sets of teeth in our lifetime. That is the primary teeth and the permanent teeth. In the primary dentition which usually start at the age of 6 months. So we start to have primary teeth by the age of 6 months and when we are about 6 years of age. So when we are about 6 years of age, we will start to have the eruption of our first permanent teeth from the permanent dentition which gets completed around the age of 12 to 13 years. And at the age of 6 to 12 years, we have both the dentition. That is, we have both the mixture of primary dentition and the permanent dentition. So both the teeth are present. So it is called as the mixed dentition stage. Because we have the permanent teeth that are getting erupted and the primary teeth are getting exfoliated. In the primary dentition, we have only three types of teeth. That is the incisors, canines and the molars. So premolars are missing in the primary dentition. So now let's see the surfaces of the teeth. So imagine a tooth as a cube. And the cube has six surfaces. But in our case, the tooth does not have the bottom surface. So we'll consider it as one, two, three, four and five surfaces of the teeth. So the surface of the tooth that is towards the face is called as the facial surface. So this is our facial surface. In anteriors, this surface is towards the lip. So it's called as the labial surface. And you can imagine that in posteriors, the surface will be towards the cheek. So this surface will be called as the buccal surface or for the posterior teeth. So the facial surfaces for anterior will be called as the labial surface and for posteriors as the buccal surfaces. So these are the facial surfaces of the teeth. And now the back side of the tooth. So these surfaces, these are opposite to the uh, facial surfaces and are towards the tongue and so are called as the lingual surfaces. 
these surfaces in the maxilla are called as the palatal surfaces as they are towards the palatal bone so these surfaces in the maxilla are called as the palatal surfaces and in the mandible they are called as the lingual surfaces so this is the lingual surface of the teeth that is opposite to the facial surface are the lingual surfaces now the sides of the tooth are called as the proximal surfaces so these are the proximal surfaces of the teeth okay so everywhere this these sides of the teeth are called as the proximal surfaces of the teeth now imagine a midline that is drawn vertically through the center of the face between the central incisors so m for midline m for mesial so the surface of the tooth that is towards the midline is called as the mesial surface so this is the surface of the tooth that will be towards the midline similarly this surface so these are the mesial surfaces of the tooth so this is the mesial surface of the tooth this is the mesial surface of the tooth similarly these are the mesial surfaces of the teeth now the surface of the tooth that is the proximal surface of the tooth that is away from the midline will be the distal surface of the tooth so these are the distal surfaces of the teeth now let's see these surfaces now these are the surfaces that are used for biting and chewing of the food so these surfaces are called as the occlusal surfaces in the posterior teeth that is in premolars and molars these are called as the occlusal surfaces and for the incisors and canines these are called as the incisal surfaces so that is all about the basics of the anatomy of a tooth the various tissues that forms the tooth the surfaces of the teeth and the various types of teeth I hope you like this video and if you do please show some love by giving it a big thumbs up and also share it with your friends to make their life easier as well and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more such content also any kind of feedback is highly appreciated and if if you have any questions or queries you can contact me on my instagram handle the link for which is there in the description down below so see you until next time thank you